Now apparently somebody dumped some combustibles down a toilet, you know, bug spray, gasoline, there's a number of different variations on this myth. At which point her husband comes into the bathroom, sits down, has a cigarette, puts the cigarette out between his legs into the toilet, and it explodes, burning his sensitive parts. Good, that sounds like a perfect job for the blast chamber. First step, down to the local junkyard on the lookout for a toilet. Now you'd imagine that most toilets are pretty much the same, but Jamie's being fussy. Well, there's less water in the in the, in the closet. This one's too shallow. The explosive we're going to put in here is heavier than air, so it's going to rest in the uh, rest in the bowl. The deeper the bowl, the more explosive force we get, the better the result. I don't think it uh, really matters. You know, one toilet's probably as good as the other. This one doesn't have a top. 40 bucks later, Adam and Jamie have their toilet. <laughs> Weighing in at 180 pounds, this Series 2 crash test dummy retired in 1998 after making quite an impact in his chosen profession. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, what part of the body is that this? That would be the, uh, uh goes in oh, the torso. Oh, that's the stomach, okay. Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. The next step, Jamie has to build a remote-controlled hand to drop the cigarette. That's probably the best thing. <laughs> okay. Adam and Jamie have also had to build their very own blast chamber. It's made from a bulletproof material called Lexan, the same substance used in aircraft windows. Hopefully, it will survive its maiden voyage. While the chamber should easily contain any explosion, the Mythbusters have called for backup, just in case. Have you never, you never heard this myth before? Uh, no, actually, I haven't heard this one. Found a few people uh, on the toilet, but never because of a toilet explosion. Falling off the toilet, a lot Something of like bathroom that, yeah. problems. Falling off the toilet. Never actually exploding. <laughs> the local fire marshal's on hand to oversee proceedings. So we've uh, designed this with, uh, you know, it's covered with polycarbonate that won't shatter, go anywhere. It's securely bolted as well as it's made in two separate halves so that if there is any kind of general explosion in there, it'll just open like a flower. So there's nothing holding it together, in other yeah. words. Combustible number one. Mythbusters hairspray. It's what I use to keep my do in line. How much of this stuff am I supposed to put in there? The myth said that the, uh, that the can of propellant got stuck open. So not knowing what to do with it, she emptied it out in the toilet. So I put a whole bunch in there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. You know, when you start to get dizzy, it's probably time to leave. OK. A sensor measures the level of flammable vapor inside the chamber. <laughs> Would seem we have some combustible gases in here. We're loaded and ready for ignition. Come on, say something cool. Release mechanism dropping by. That's it. Okay, three, two, one, go. Nothing. Not exactly hair-raising stuff. Well, time to move on to the next test, bug spray. All right, all right. It's time to move outside the confines of the myth and see if a naked flame can spark some life. More bug spray. If it doesn't do it on this one, I don't think it's happening. We still got a few more things to try, though, so be patient. All right. All right. This time, Jamie's giving it both barrels. The sensor's squealing. Okay, here goes. There, go. Did it go in the toilet? It did, yeah. and there was actually a little poof in the toilet. Well, hardly 4th of July. Poof. We have poof. <laughs> Testing, one, two, three. Time for butane to step up to the plate. Did it go in? It went right in, nothing happened. All right, match. Lighting. Let's go. Wow. There's a poof. <laughs> Finally. The, the myth is looking kind of unlikely at the moment, although, uh, you know, gasoline is the big one. What do you think? Does that work? 
Oh, that's beautiful. Surely, dropping a cigarette into a pool of gasoline will produce some type of reaction. Let's get a wet towel ready in case the extinguisher fails. Silly housewife, pouring gasoline down the toilet. Are you ready? I'm ready. Lighting cigarette. OK, I'm going to drop it. Three, two, one, go. Nada. But the pool of All liquid right. simply put the cigarette out. Try again, this time using the naked flame of the match. Let go. OK, so you get a shock and a blackened backside. But it's still not the explosive force mentioned in the myth. So do you think that was enough to uh, blow you off the toilet? No way. No way. It wasn't really like a concussive blast. I mean, it didn't, you know, I didn't see the chamber move very much at all. Finally, the moment the Mythbusters have been sweating on. Yeah, okay. It's time for Solution X, <laughs> gunpowder. I saw a movie like this once. <laughs> Get him, Lynn. Time for our new host to make his Mythbusters debut. The fire marshal seems to be getting a little nervous. How much? I put it all in there. <laughs> That's too much. Half of it? That's a hell of a lot. Should give you one hell of an effect. OK, lighting the match. It left, didn't it? Uh-oh. I thought it went out. No, it didn't. Well, there is no match on the tinfoil. Strangely, exactly what was explained as a possibility has occurred. Well, what do we think? Uh, time five minutes or something and then go in? Reasonable. 6.09. Sit tight, Buster. Your moment of glory has been slightly delayed. Chamber is sealed. Are we good to go? Yep. Ready. Go. <laughs> well, I tell, I tell you what, you know, that... <laughs> That, that was uh, great. It didn't even move him. <laughs> no, he didn't even move. It did blow his pants up, though. <laughs> <laughs> He's still holding the cigarette. <laughs> that was fun. Congratulations. Not even half a tin of gunpowder could unseat our new star. If anything, it just enhanced his smoldering good looks. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I've had days just like this, too. Another myth busted. Jamie and Adam are flush with success. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is perfect amount of carnage.